and welcome back to my vlogs. Today I've come to a beautiful place. I've come to Stourhead, which is a National Trust um, park and gardens in England, in Wiltshire, and it's about um, a 45 minute drive from Bath, so it's not too far away. And I've heard that it's beautiful at this time of year. Apparently in autumn, they've got lots of trees that are in beautiful shades of orange, red, yellow, and I'm really looking forward to having a walk around, a lovely crisp country walk, and just get some fresh air and admire admire it in all its autumn beauty um, because like I said I haven't been in this season I've been in the summer and it was absolutely beautiful and I've also been for Christmas because they do an amazing light show here every year um, so hopefully I can go at Christmas this year as well to show you what that's like but it's autumn and I can't wait to just get into the autumn spirit <laughs> Beautiful. The tunnel. This is a picturesque garden, so everything is designed to look as if it's natural and like ruined. So the picturesque style is basically gardening um, scenes that you can imagine being painted, and painters would come and paint them. And it's like walking around, and you feel like you've entered a fairy tale. And I'm scared because I don't know if you can see this tunnel. <laughs> the path just leads down into a ditch into this pitch black tunnel, and I don't really know what to expect. So here we go. <laughs> I can't even see the floor, this is really scary. <laughs> okay, it's not actually that long, there's the exit, so it comes straight out, but <laughs> the visibility is very low. <laughs> oh, birds, so peaceful. So I had a great time at Stourhead, it was just beautiful to walk around at this time of year. It's such a beautiful garden. It's full of unexpected twists and turns and the leaves at this time of year are just stunning. And you saw at the end of the footage that I got books. So obviously I need to show you what book I got. Um, I ended up picking up Life in the English Country House because obviously as an architecture student, this kind of thing really interests me uh, because it's filled with beautiful pictures of English country houses, but also plan drawings so I can study the plans and use it for inspiration or just even to better understand houses. So I've just flicked open a random page and this is of a chapel at Blenheim Palace and then it's got the plan of, um, well, this is actually Ragley Hall, Warwickshire. But it's the kind of thing that's just really beautiful, really interesting to read to see how English country houses have shaped our lives. And I visit so many that it's nice to have this as a reference and to study them in a bit more detail, learn about them. 
and thing, images like this where you see how life was like when they lived at these houses at their peak. It's just, I find it so fascinating. I love it from the carriage. Oh my gosh. Beautiful images and plans. And yeah, it's a very beautiful cover as well. I just can't wait to read this book. So it was a good find. And I always love going to the secondhand bookshops and National Trust properties because they always have the best books. I guess because like-minded people visit those kind of places and donate their books. So you can pick up amazing books at a reasonable price. So I'm very happy with that find. Hello, um, it's another day and I'm excited to be filming today because it's Sunday and I'm planning to meet up with a friend and go out to a village around Bath. Um, I'll show you around as we explore because she's from Paris and I want to help her explore Bath and the area and show her all the beauty that this part of England has to offer and it'll be lovely to spend some time and go out for a meal at a pub and just have like a really traditional English day so I'm looking forward to taking you along with me. Before I go I'll also show you my outfit that I'm wearing today because I have a really cute <laughs> autumnal outfit and the weather has been very mild this year in England like normally at this time of year I'll be wearing hats and scarves and big puffy coats but this year I haven't needed to so I'm wearing this skirt um, which is a satiny material it's really beautiful I love the pattern um, it's a lovely sage green colour and I got this from Rouge which is a French brand um, I got it in Paris and I've just got a simple creamy knitted jumper which I got a few years ago from Urban Outfitters um, which I think it's just a really cozy cute autumn outfit um and with that i'm just wearing like a simple pearl necklace and pearl earrings but i think it's just a really lovely outfit for this time of year and i'm very pleased about the fact that the weather is enabling me to wear clothes like this even in mid-november because normally it would not be possible and <laughs> um, because the weather just goes from summer straight to very cold winter without much of an in-between season but this year the in-between fashion has been dragged out a lot longer so I'm very happy about that but anyway it's time to go hello so today I'm in Castle Coombe and I'm with my friend Maud um, she's a friend from Paris who is doing an exchange in Bath and I've taken to show her the village because it's a really beautiful village not far from Bath and we're just having a walk around and we're so lucky because the weather is so sunny today so it's just a perfect day and yeah <laughs> hanging out with Maud and we had such a good time. Um, it was actually kind of busy though which is a little bit annoying because I, when I visit villages or the countryside you kind of are looking for tranquility, a bit of peace and relax and because it was a really sunny day and it's a Sunday so the good weather made people want to go out and lots of people had the same idea as us, there were lots of people. Um, it wasn't too bad because it's not the holidays or anything but still it was a little bit congested which is a, um, a shame but it was nice to walk around and we walked around the church and the village and I liked that in the church they had photos of how the village was used for filming because Castle Coombe has been used in War Horse amongst other films. They had photos from when they filmed there which was really fascinating to just see and recognise each location in the village that we just walked through. And then we went to the pub for a meal and I had a lamb pie with mashed potatoes and vegetables and it was really delicious so we had a really good time, nice to catch up um, and take a break from studying as well because if I'm going to go through another week I need to have at least some downtime during the weekend to get me through all of the stress um, especially as I'm drawing near to the end of my project that I'm working on um, on my architecture course at the moment it's just 
late hours in the studio every day so I need a bit of downtime. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and subscribe to my channel to join me in more adventures and I will see you next time. Bye!